ESCOM produces around 34 million tons of coal ash annually. Only 7 to 10 percent is beneficiated. Coal ash is classified as hazardous waste. The latest innovative use of legacy ash will surely minimize as volume stumps. Legacy ash comprises withered fly and bottom ash. Its application in road construction decreases reliance on cement and also mitigates carbon emissions. In comparison, this road cost about just over 12 million rands for a kilometer to construct uh, in relation in comparison to about 23 24 uh, that ordinarily uh, would have been spent on a co on a road of a similar quality outside so it does represent significant cost saving for the same quality it represents opportunities for a reduction of uh, emissions from co2 perspective by the absence of uh, not using cement it also represents opportunities for job creations and an acceleration of uh, service delivery to communities ESCOM employees constructed the road within 12 months. This project, in terms of its ex execution, started on the 1st of April 2023. It took us approximately 12 months uh, to complete the construction of uh, the road. Um, it was a five kilometer road. We used what we call legacy ash and a mixture of, of concrete um, and other products that you require to construct you know, a road. Kusile Power Station is constructing a new coal conveyor belt. The road will also serve as a passage for trucks which will be busy on the construction site. We've now used this ash behind me to construct this road, which will now going to be used by close to 102 trucks on average per day to bring coal in as well as making sure that our operations in terms of running the power plant are, 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 are well uh, looked after. So the nice thing about this road is that it was constructed by ESCOM people, uh, RTND, projects from ERI, and it's 100% purely based on our internal skills. The good thing as well is that as we've done this, this part of innovation, which was motivated by XCOM EXCO, is now going to be spread throughout all other power stations and also be spread into the communities in Pumalanga, working in cooperation with the Department of Transport, DFFE, which is the Department of uh, Forestry. They will make sure that we use this byproduct to benefit our community and make sure that the streets in the townships and beyond in the rural areas are made out of this road. The latest innovation opens new revenue streams for the power utility while alleviating the costs of legacy ash management. Ntlantla Jele, SABC News, Kusile Power Station, Mpumalang.